It was the 1930s. Americans were out of work, waiting in lines for food. It was the Great Depression. President Roosevelt knew something had to be done and proposed the Works Progress Administration. Part of that initiative included artists documenting the nation through paintings, sketches, and sculptures. What I love about this art is it just gives a window on that era, it which does. is the era of my parents, you know, when they were children. And yes. these must be the sort of visuals that they had in the small towns they lived in. The government paid artists $42 a week for their works and hung them in courthouses, schools, and other public venues. Eighty years later, the U.S. General Services Administration is searching for some of those pieces that have gone missing. The search is a joint project between the GSA Inspector General and the Public Buildings Service. It has investigators uncovering dozens of valuable artworks using tips that come in from a number of sources. They come in on the hotline mainly, but occasionally we'll get calls from um, art connoisseurs that will say, hey, I think this painting is WPA, and they call, we verify it. We've put a number of the paintings into the uh, database at the FBI. The FBI maintains the database okay. for lost and stolen art. GSA is restoring some of the newly recovered pieces of art while continuing the search for hundreds, possibly thousands, of still missing works. Copies of some of the recovered pieces are on display in the IG's conference room, where Administrator Martha Johnson had a chance to learn a little about the history of some of the pieces. Uh, this is Kansas City. That was recovered for $7 at a yard sale. And it's a wonderful painting, and it's historical. It's a historical depiction of Kansas City during the 1930s. The project got started in 2001 and will continue until all the art is located.